Hey everybody, Forever Retro 82 here. So it has been requested for me to do a proper LP of Journey to Silius, which I intend to do. That's why I'm that's why I'm on camera. If it wasn't on camera, I wouldn't be doing that. But um yeah, so Journey to Silius is as some of you may know, is one of my favorite Nintendo games of all time because it's simple, it's fun, it's frantic and the and the soundtrack is just mwah, god tier in the NES. Anyway, but before we get into that, there's some trivia we must go through first. Now, as you see here, this is a clipping from a Nintendo Power. I don't know remember the issue. I do apologize for that, but you can find it if you do some research, of course. And uh, basically, this is the basically the prototype. Now, if you look at the screenshots, you can tell it looks a lot like Journey to Silius because Journey to Silius was to be a Terminator game by Sunsoft. But unfortunately, they lost the license. And instead, we got this piece of shit here. Right. Anyhow... I don't believe there's any code in the ROM of Journey to Silius of the original game, you know, to probably to avoid copyright. But you'll notice that there are some Terminator-esque things, we'll say, uh, that reside within the game. Also, there is a hack I've shown on this channel. Uh, links is in the description, and you can also find it up there, right? And you can see, basically, I played it for a little bit just to show off the differences and you can compare by watching this video and then of course go jumping over there watching that video but there is a hack and i will put the hack where you can find it in the description as well for you to enjoy uh, i mean it's not the exact same as the prototype that they had planned but it's something you know i mean at least somebody had the love and admiration enough to try to recreate what Sunsoft was doing to some degree. I mean, hacking only gets you so far in terms of ROM hacking. Now, they are getting better, and hopefully maybe someday someone can actually, you know, take bits and pieces of what Sunsoft was going for and make it into an NES game, but I don't see that happening because it'll probably be too much work because, you know, hackers aren't Sunsoft. <laughs> but um, I also found a video of basically some footage of the prototype that doesn't show gameplay, but it does show more or less some cutscenes that reside within the game and it's pretty cool to see i just found it a couple days ago so that should be exciting all that's going to be in the description so you know you can feel free to click on that and read on it you can also get the uh the uh, fan hack and, and enjoy that game so to see what could have been because as we know sunsoft makes very fantastic movie based games at least in the NES era. I mean, Batman was fantastic. Now, Fester's Quest is kind of... I have a love-hate relationship with that game because it reminds me of the overhead scenes from Blaster Master, but at the same time, uh, the game was just way too hard, in my opinion. I mean, that game is... If, if you are, like, god-tier at video games, both old and new, take a crack at that. It's a challenge. But anyways, uh, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started on uh, Journey to Silius, shall we? And the reason why I'm doing this, though, is because, one, it's been requested, and two, the other times I played the game on stream, I unfortunately cheated my way to victory both times. And just like with Shadow of the Ninja, I want to redeem myself. So we're going to play the game, no save states, no cheats, no bullshit. <laughs> it's just going to be a straight out... True to form, Forever Rush Radio 2 Let's Play. So, with that being all said and done, let's get started. So here we are, Journey to Silius. Awesome game. One of my favorites for the system. Because it's running glun gloriousness to its highest caliber. I'd like to sit there and listen to the tunage, but you're not here to listen to music. You're here to see a Let's Play, so. So here you have your little bit of a story here. Ba apparently Jay's father dies in an accident. Pi the nuke. They don't want to mention that because it's too dark. For all the kiddies that played Nintendo. 
He wouldn't have a grave either. He'd be fucking... <laughs> there'd be nothing left of his dad. Unless he got killed in the blast. I mean, it's all open to interpretation. But basically, he was making a colony. And Terrace didn't like that, so they had him killed. But his father leaves behind some data for him to basically carry out his work. That's pretty much it. And of course, now we get to see what Jay looks like, like close up. He has a fucking emo haircut. What the hell is this just what in the Justin Bieber bullshit is that? It's the eighties. You didn't have a Justin Bieber haircut. Whatever. You know, I didn't design the game. I just played them. Right, so but as you can see, Jay looks like you know your normal NES sprite here. Has his little pew pew in front of him and is ready to shoot some robots into the next millennium. So, let's begin. So, as you can tell, it's running gun goodness. You'll see, like, basically these capsules being dropped by enemies. There's a blue one and then a red one. Now, the red ones hardly ever get dropped, which is bullshit. Because it's health, and they don't want you to have any kind of help. Because help's not allowed. There's a, there's a blue one right there. That, that replenishes your gun power if you should decide to use a secondary gun. But your hand your handgun has infinite bullets, so you can just ha use that, which is what I do. Let's see, they, they they barely ever drop red. It's bullshit. Another game that pulled that shit was Maz and Second Mutant Fighter on the Genesis, which I played on stream and completed. I just save state the shit out of it, but. Now, I do like that game. I know it's, like, very... It gets it gets repetitious very fast. But I like that game anyways, because the boss fights look really cool. I just wish they gave you more fighting abilities. But yeah, you see all the mass destruction. You know, and it's funny, too. It, it, you know, you know, this could happen to us with Putin the way Putin has been these last few months. And all these, like, scaredy cats are like, that won't happen. That's what you say when you're scared. It can very well happen. They just don't want to admit to it. All right, now we got to take out this guy, and then we get to the main boss. Easy peasy. Just fill him up with bolts, and here you go. Now, you could use the machine gun here, but I suggest saving it. To when you fight the actual the chopper which you know i mean that fits because this was supposed to be a terminator game so you throw a little schwarzenegger voice in there loud <sighs> these guys are just a pain in the dick they're like metal grasshoppers and they just bounce around their pattern annoys the ever-living shit out of me and they will until i'm dead you fight three of them before you fight the chopper Okay, that was done re relatively fast. Glorious. Now I just gotta wait for the chopper to make its way down. All you gotta do is hit the glowing orb. I mean, if you played NES games, you know that glowing parts on enemies is a good thing. That's where you want to strike. And just use your machine gun. And this is a pretty quick and easy battle for you. Boom, done. And you hear the same sound you hear when you kill a boss in Blaster Master. What is that even supposed to be? Is that supposed to be the explosion? Because I'm not impressed. So now we get the second stage, which has some of the best music in NES that the NES could have, easily. And plus you had that glorious, glorious Sunsoft bass, which I really love. I mean, I don't think the NES is supposed to... The NES especially. Famicom, of course, has expansion. But I don't think the NES is supposed to have percussion like this. And what really makes me mad is GamePro, when they rated the NES back in 93, they said that, oh, the NES is devoid of bass. Then what the fuck you call this? This is bass, there's plenty of it, and it sounds great. 
ignorance. Ignorance is bliss when it comes to the gaming media. Right, so let's go ahead and trudge on. Forward and upward. Onward and upward. Or whatever the fuck they call it. <laughs> This game has a lot of, like, things I don't like with it, though. I mean, or, not a lot, but there are some things I don't like about the game. I know I talk like about it like it's the second coming of Christ. I really do love this game. It is one of my favorite NES games because I love the music, I love the flow, and I just, the design, all of it. It just screams NES greatness to me. But what I don't like is enemies, they have, like, enemies and placements that are purposely there for if you jump down you're going to take damage no matter what as you will see on both this stage and the next and the following two stages glad my turbo thumb is working because when it comes to a running gun you need it like this shit right here you're likely to take damage Oh, wow, I actually got a red one. Holy balls. Mark that in your fucking calendar, folks, because that's not going to happen again. I guarantee it. And if it does, award yourself a cookie. <laughs> if I was anywhere near you, I'd get you a cookie myself. And we got to deal with this douche nozzle again. Take It takes a lot of damage from you. Fuck me. I took, like, what, three ticks, two ticks? Two ticks. Okay. Son of a bitch! See, if you get it right at the tip, you can get it. Remember, just the tip. Any, any more than that, it's unacceptable. <laughs> I usually die on this boss at least once. It's embarrassing, I have to admit it, though. Yeah, this corridor, just run for it. Just fire a gun, keep running. Otherwise, those guys will own you. Yeah, this fucking guy. Could you move any slower? I guess the answer to that is yes, of course. Of course! All right, here we go. Here's the boss, mid-boss before the boss, or the boss before the boss. Name what you will. That's all he does is walk. It's not, he's not threatening. Now this fucking guy, I hate this boss. This is probably, in my opinion, this is probably the hardest boss in the game. Because he's just fucking cheap. As you'll soon, you'll soon discover. Of course the first fucking thing he's gonna do is throw a fucking blob at me. If that thing hits you, it takes stupid amounts of damage. Got him. Alright, and I didn't lose a life. Yush! Alright, we're on stage three. After this, we got two more. Yeah, it's a short game, but it's one of those games that are just... I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the length. To me, it's just a nice little romp for the NES. But these next two... These next three stages are pieces of shit. I hate them. I have to basically pace myself. Because enemies are lurking within every little pixel you move forward. There's always going to be an enemy there. You just gotta basically pace yourself, time yourself. Yeah, this is another banger. I mean, this whole soundtrack is a banger, really. All, like, there's not one song I like. I mean, if I had to pick one I didn't, it would probably be the, the next stage. But it's still a good song, regardless. It's not like Blaster Master Stage 8 bad. Because that's a bad song. 
Now, sometimes I do this. Get the homing missile. Saves some damage. I don't like to use ammo, though, for whatever reason. I, I'm kind of OCD about that. I don't know why, either. That, that's what those guns are. They're, they're supposed to help you. And you get plenty of gun power-ups, even though I'm not getting any. Okay, this guy... Well, first, let's take out the guy up here. Take it light. There we go. There's a gun power-up. Can I get that? Ta no, fuck off! Uh, I hope to get at least one. Because I always use... You basically want to use the weapon that you get from the boss. From the stage before. To take out the boss. The mid-boss. And then you want to use the weapon you get from that boss to take out the main boss. Sorry to be confusing. It's... I'm trying to explain it. And as we all know, I'm not good at explaining jack fucking shit. I find that if you go in the far part of an elevator, you, you can stay a little bit, you can have a little bit of leeway to take out any enemies that may come your way after you hit the elevator. Now this part coming up is one of, this is the thing I was talking about, how you always get shit on when you jump down, or when you have down parts. Like, look at that shit. That was planned to hell. It's just, it's, 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 to me, this is a little unfair. But I, I just suck it up and deal. Because I have to. What other choice do I have? You know? Fuck it. Let's just run for it. Bag it. There we go, another down air. See, the smile. These, th they just suck, okay? I almost got, I almost went through that unscathed. Almost. But not quite, unfortunately. That's my little strategy. I, I, I get close enough to where they drop so I have enough leeway to go through because those things are quick. Now, fuck off, man. I had enough of your fucking bullshit for one day. There we go. Gotta love those sneak attacks that the enemies get in you. Uh, what I mean by love, I mean bullshit! <laughs> Alright, as you can tell, I'm playing very slowly and strategically. I don't want to take too many hits, but I keep getting hit anyway! And remember how I told you they give fuck all when it comes to health? Do you believe me now? I hope so. <laughs> oh, there's a there's one. I got that. It's, I'm fucked. <sighs> if I can get just get to the boss, I might have a chance. Because the, the boss on this stage is actually not that bad. It, he he just takes a while. If you do it the way I do it, of course. Alright. Uh, let's get the homing missile. Okay. Basically what you want to do is get here, 
duck and then just wait for your turn to attack. That's all. And then, of course, the orb, as you can tell, is that's where you got to attack. Sorry if my commentary is shit today. I'm just trying very hard to concentrate. So I really want to beat this for my channel. So I do apologize in advance. I really do. I know my commentary is kind of shit today. Shit. Okay, we're still good. Still good. See, I'm fucking up. Gee. All right, I'm gonna have to play really safe now. A button didn't work. I'm just concentrating. Sorry, guys. Nope. I kind of figured that was going to happen. I knew I was going to lose a life sooner or later. Alright, so now I'm stuck using the pea shooter. So it's going to take a little longer now. Sometimes you can get up to two hits with it, though. So hopefully that will be enough to suffice. kind of sweating. <laughs> it makes me a little nervous. Not, uh, see? Well, my timing is off. He should be almost gone. Don't lose the patience. Remain patient. Come on. Fuck off! That was cheap as shit. Fucking die already. I hit you enough times. Alright. There. I have my desk fan on, it's not doing enough. <laughs> These last two stages. These will drive your patience. Like, down the fucking cliff. I'm serious about that. I just get hit as soon as I get... As soon as I enter the stage, I get fucking clunk. Get clamored. What the fuck's that about? I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to show as much patience and be as slow as possible here. Because this is a long-ass stage and there's plenty of hazards. Sometimes I do use a continue here just to give you guys an idea. But I'm going to try to avoid that if possible today. Fuck off! Every fucking time, man. <sighs> yep, here we go. This is cheap, right? This is where it gets stupid. Just, just watch. Not that one, the next one. It, it just, it gets stupid. It's like, just... You have to take it. It's all, like you. I have to take a hit. I can't see any other way around it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you when I get there.
Yeah, I, I mean, th this tune is good. It's just my, it's probably my least favorite in the game. God damn it! My placement's off. Yeah, those little fucking fishy things that fly through the air become your worst nightmare. Especially in the part that's coming up a little farther up in the stage. And you'll see it when I get there, so... I know I'm playing like a fucking little kid, but I'm I want I want to do this. I got hell with it. I've had enough. Yeah, platforms that fall. Cheapest of the cheap. They want to make sure they put any enemy that could make you go fall to your death. Yeah, I'm going to at least lose a life soon. I'm going to try to get as far as I can without, without doing so. Fuck off! Fucking fish sticks. I mean, ugh. everything, everything is after me. Now, this part right here... This part right here, other than that drop section I mentioned a little while ago, this is where nightmares are born. Because we got plenty of these fish fuckers. Um, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> There's no way around it. I really wish there was, but there isn't, so... Yeah, this part coming up is what I was talking about. Now watch this shit. Oh, well, I'm dead. But there's that thing, and then when you drop down, there's two more. And you're always going to land on one. There's no way around it. And they have to start you at the worst possible fucking place they could. Worst possible fucking place. Here, start with the platform so enemies can hit you off and knock you down and you can die. And this shit. I hate this shit. See, and then you drop down, I get hit again. It's fucking retarded, man. It's, it's some of the bullshit, unfair non nonsense that this game can offer. See, some health would be nice, but no. Nah. You can't get health. Jay's shit, so no health for him. Alright, we're almost to the <clears throat> mid the mid boss, then the main boss. Now the main boss isn't bad here, but you know, given how I fuck up everything I, I normally touch in life, I'll probably screw up. But then we just got one more stage. One more stage after this one. Just one health power up. That would be so great. No, here... Okay, here we go. What in the actual fuck? Alright, round two. Yeah, my A button wasn't working last time. There we go. Alright, now this boss, like I said, it's all timing. Something I'm kind of shit at today. But I'll do my best. 
I mean, this is all this boss does. Very simple. Just gotta get the timing right. And he's gone. Now, all that was just child's play. Because now, we don't have to deal with enemies. But now we have a auto-scroll bullshit fucking clusterfuck. Alright, make sure I got my handgun. Look, okay. Yeah, this scroll, this is an auto-scroll stage. And if you don't meet the requirements, you'll be stuck. Like, kind of like what's happening right now. It's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, when I got to that part on the last stage, I actually died on the platforming section. No, just fuck off. No, speaking of fuck off, this uh, this part up here is... If you don't do it just right, you'll end up losing a life. It's ridiculous. It's right here. I always wait for that box to drop. And then, ugh. Yeah, if you miss that, you're fucked. And do not make a full-scale jump here. Do a half jump. Otherwise, you'll fall straight down to the bottom. I mean, this, this, this is fucking shit central. Sometimes you gotta play with the how the auto-scroll goes. If you don't play by its rules, it will literally fuck you raw. And all that you got into this point will mean nothing. <sighs> hey, buttoned it. I need to get this. I need to clean this controller or something, man. Because lately, that's that's been a problem. Is this A button doesn't want to work when I need it to? I don't get it. Shit, I need to get to need to get to where the auto scroll meets. Of course, who likes boxes? I hate boxes in video games. They always spell trouble. It's bullshit. Alright, well, we got two continues to make this happen. Fuck. This part I could never get right. I mean, it seems self-explanatory. But it just doesn't... I'm doing it fine now, but sometimes I don't. It's weird. And what is that shit? Tang? That's what it looks like to me. Tang's fucking gross. I don't know why people drink that shit. Or do people still drink Tang? I don't know. And let me know in the comments. Oh, I get to hear the first stage again, which is nice, because it's very iconic. I think most of us can agree with that. Alright, let's try not to fuck up here. I'm not talking. I need to concentrate. Just enjoy the good music. There! God! Okay. All that right there? Completely randomized. So I hate the boxes. They can go fuck their mothers. No! <sighs> Forgot about the... Yeah, I'm fucked. If I could just get to the boss... We're almost there. And yeah, we're there. Okay, good. I'm gonna probably die... I got two lives, but I think I can may do it. This is not the final boss. This is the boss before the final boss. And you want to avoid those flames. If you can. But if you have one speck of health left, that's not... Fuck off. Okay, so here we go. Alright, hopefully I can do it this time.
And you're a sitting duck to that turret, so... I always struggled with these, though. These are even worse, because there's three of them. Can all be winners. I wish we could. <laughs> Shit! Yep. Come on, let's see if I can take this fucker out. Alright, good. That's one down. I just gotta take care of the other. And then we have the final boss. We still gotta deal with these stinking fucking piece of shit, moronic, dumbly pa placed on purpose thrusters. Alright, I got two specks of health. Maybe I can do the last boss, because he's really not hard. I just gotta make sure I have full gunpowder for it, though. Son of a bitch! Yeah! Keep, 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 keep it up, fuckface! Alright. Alright, now if I can just play it cool, we can do this. We're done. Oh, I'm sweating like a motherfucker. Gosh. And this is your ending. The colony drifts away from Earth. For what purpose? To get away from the terrace? I mean, nothing's explained here! Oh, God, I'm sweating like a motherfucker. Because I was... I really wanted to do this. I really... I, I had my heart set on it. And it's just... This is one of those days where I didn't sleep very good, so my... Con, it's my I'm not... Like, you can tell my commentary is all over the place. It's not coherent that much. And that usually happens when I don't have a good day of sleep and rest and all that. But I'm not trying to earn sympathy points. I'm just telling you my situation. Oh. Yeah, I really do love this game. I mean, you have basically everybody on the Sunsoft sound team. Yeah, and no Kadaka, that's the guy who made Blaster Master's soundtrack, so. Yeah, I just wish there was more to the ending that could have been, that isn't shown. Yay, we're thanked. It says in players. That makes me feel good. No, actually it doesn't, but whatever. Hey. So that is Journey to Silius. My, yeah, like I said, those last two stages can go fuck their mothers and go die in a fire and piss off of the plank. But they're there for a reason. They're there for, excuse me, challenge. Fuck, I'm sweating. Whew. Fuck me. But if you press start, you get a secondary uh, quest so you can loop it again. And am I going to do that? Hell to the no. So anyways, this is this has uh, been my Let's Play of Journey of Silius. I hope you enjoyed for what it was worth. And uh, it's, it's it's a really great game. Honestly, despite its faults. I know it's short, very short. Some Probably maybe even too short for some of you out there. But it's a fun, let's, it's a fun little game to just play through and enjoy. It takes a lot of learning, but you'll eventually get the hang of it. And, uh, I mean, it's, like I said, it's one of my favorite NES games. It's awesome. Yeah, even though I complain. But, you know, I complain with every game I play. I mean, what's what's so different? <laughs> and it is kind of a... It can be stress-inducing. But, hey, it's part of the game. That's, that's the beauty of games. It kind of stresses us out. And, hey, a little bit of stress is actually is good for you. kind of kicks in the cognitive mind part of your mind to... 
basically, well, do it better if you're if you have that within your ability. Anyways, enough of my fucking yammering. <laughs> I am Forever Retro eighty two. I am signing off. You guys have a great one, and remember to take good care of yourselves. Keep gaming, keep loving, and keep it retro. And we'll definitely see you in the next one. And until then, everybody, take care. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked what you saw and would like to support my channel, please consider being a patron. I'll put your name up with these fine folks who have donated to this channel, and that would be awesome to have you on board. If not, that's entirely up to you. I hope you have a good day and take care.